Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. So I've just done a really powerful reading on Pixie Power Tarot with this deck of cards, the Wheel of the Year Tarot. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do one on this channel to see how similar they are. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So this is going to be an almost personal reading. That means we have no idea what's going to come up until we start doing the reading because the angels will tap into your energy and tell you what you need to know and if you want to know about love nip over to pixie power tarot it's on the featured channels list my other channel and watch that reading because it's showing you that love is speeding up things are happening there's change going on so thank you angels what does everyone watching here and now on this channel need to know what does everyone here and now need to know let's see so I'm going to shuffle the deck and split it there and take out anything that's jumping, okay? So these are extra cards, clarifiers, and I'm going to do a spread too. So I'm going to put these to one side and I'm going to put out a Celtic Cross spread. And then we're going to go through it together and see what comes up. I'm excited for this. I also use, after I do a 10 card Celtic, uh, Celtic Cross spread, and then I put out four more clarifier cards. So I've got 14 cards in the spread and I've got extra cards here. So I'm going to start with this one because we've got the Princess of Wands here. And this card flew out the deck and it turns up this way. So it wanted to be read first. So this is you right now. And it's showing you that you're preparing for a more abundant future. You know, you've got the well there and the well is bleeding water. So you're ready to kind of move forward towards everything you want. Things are not dry and like a desert. There's water there. You know, this is your sign that things are going to improve. Things are going to get better. There's life there. There's life for you. There's a life coming in for you. This is about your dreams manifesting. And you're creating it within your mind because you are powerful. You know, this is about you being passionate and not giving up on your dreams and going forward for what you want. Trusting in heaven, trusting the universe, having a vision. So this is the power that you're in right now. You're stepping into your power, your divine feminine power. You're knowing who you want, what you want. You're molding things in. So it's showing you this life force there. You know, so if you feel thirsty right now, thirsty for, you know, power or thirsty for success or thirsty for financial abundance or thirsty for your person it's showing you you can quench that thirst because you've been given everything you want so powerful so we've got the eight of pentacles so there's hard work in your life right now which means you're working hard on something and i feel you're wondering if you know is your person doing the work so you know, you're doing the work because you're being given the answer there that everything is flowing in. But you may be thinking, is my divine masculine doing what he needs to do or she needs to do to move forward? Is it going to happen? And you can see there that your masculine is working hard, hard on self, hard on making things happen. You know, he's got the horseshoe there and horseshoes are, you know, lucky. So luck is on his side or her side, luck is on your side. So this is also a card of trust, trust in the universe. You know, you've got that horse there. So, you know, your masculine is never alone and your divine masculine here, I do feel this is going into a twin flame reading, is watched over by this horse spirit. So there's horses around the connection. Now horses signify freedom and forward motion and power because horses are very powerful creatures. But they're also very strong and very loving, you know, and they can be controlled, you know, which means that you can put on, you know, a, a, you know, the reins on a horse and you can ride a horse. And this is showing you that, you know, your masculine is very strong and determined, but you also kind of rein them in, which means they always come back to you. It means that you can control them with your thoughts and your emotions. It means that, you know, you have the power to calm them down. Because even a wild horse can be tamed. So you have the power to tame your divine masculine with the power of your love. And that's really what I'm feeling in this card. So it's about you releasing the need to control, releasing the need for it now, but understanding that your love and your nurturing energy and the passion within you calms everything down. And you can see there, you know, on the wall, you've got that rope there. 
or you know this is kind of like showing you that you have the power you know that your masculine is working hard on this journey because you know you've been doing your work so you're both doing the work and i feel this is what the shift that's been moving in since august time we've also got here the eight of chalices so maybe you're afraid that your masculine won't return to you you know you're worried if they're ever going to walk away from their their karmic situation if they're ever going to return to you perhaps your twins walked away or is indifferent to you right now or not communicating or you're in a period of separation and you're wondering will they return you know maybe it's hurt your feelings it's hurt you deeply you know you're holding there you know that white um, handkerchief so it shows me tears you know you've cried over this person you know you've been crying over them you're wondering what you've done you know what have I done wrong you've done nothing wrong that's the message of today's Twin Flame reading. You know, you've done nothing wrong. Your person's had to walk away to process things, to deal with their own emotion. And it doesn't mean they're not working hard on this connection or doing what they need to do. It's showing you there that they are. Okay, and we've got the eight there. Eight, eight, eight signify abundance, but they also signify infinity and eternity and love that this is an eternal bond. An eight signify abundance flowing in. And what's coming in here, that water there, you know, the well hasn't dried up. It's continuing to flow. So when you let go and you let it flow, things move forward quicker. This is about trusting that your person will return to you. There will be reconciliation. So what's currently in the way? You know, because you can see this card as, you know, something that's in the way of the connection. But it's also something that's for the connection is the fact that maybe your masculine needs time, time to work it out, time to process, time to return. So you have to let go, okay, and let what needs to happen happen and not worry about it. You have to trust that it's still blooming and growing like these beautiful trees or flowers here. You know, flowers are, bo are blooming and they're blooming the way they're meant to. You know, they're blooming the way they were meant to by nature. So it's about trusting the journey, letting go. And the angels will help you. And I've actually got Archangel Jophiel coming through as well when I'm connecting with this card. The angel of beauty. And Archangel Jophiel is saying to you, remember your beauty. Remember your power, how special you are. Because, you know, your masculine sees the beauty within you. Your beauty moves them. You know, they see the beauty within you. So remember who you are because it's all happening to move you closer to love, to bring you into union, to move you forward because that fire continues to burn. So this card here in, in this spread is the reason we're asking the question. So the whole reading here is about union, you know, unity, love, connection. So this is showing you, you're wondering, you know, am I ever going to be in union with my person? Will I ever be in a fully committed, loving relationship with my person? Even if you're not a twin flame and you've been guided to this, you're wondering, you know, am I going to have reconciliation with the person that I love? Or is someone coming in for me that I can love? Will I be in the kind of relationship that I've been dreaming of? Well, the angels are showing you it doesn't matter how long you've been alone. The well is running. So this means that things are starting to move forward. There's changes coming in. The candle is burning there. And this beautiful fairy is watching over this candle. It's protected. So this is another sign of your, your you know, the love is protected here. Wow, look at this, the lover's card. What's coming into your immediate future love? The love that you desire coming together. It's watched over. This card reminds me of the Trinity. Because you've got the masculine, the feminine, and then you've got heaven or the angels or the universe. You know, whoever you believe in watching over it. But this is angels protecting you. Especially Archangel Raphael right now, the angel of healing. The angel of abundance, the angel of love. Because he's watching over this connection here. And he's bringing you together. So this is another card about reconciliation of reunion coming together because you have to come together to build union so you're coming back together look at the card there it's a card of ceremony so it's a card symbolizing marriage coming into the future you know hand fasting you know you hand fasted together so it's a bond that cannot be broken it's powerful that card there and i'm going to put it there so you can look at it clearly there while i'm doing this 
It's like this, okay? It's like the, your hands are tied together and it's this bond that cannot break, okay? I tied this together and that's why you've got that piece there. But the, if this is two separate pieces of string and they are bound together, they cannot be broken. So it doesn't matter how far away you are in distance, you're never far away in mind or heart or soul because you are one. So you're always together because separation is illusion. And that's why next week I'm starting a series called Separation Heals to talk about it and, you know, how it grows you and prepares you for what you truly want, which is union with your person. So it's showing you there this is connected. It's showing you the law. Well, look at this, the five of chalices. So what you have to do is let go of the pain, okay? So the angels are saying to you, you know, this is the truth, okay? This is what your higher self knows is coming, but we tend to sometimes let the ego to take over. And the ego is the fear. The ego edges the goodness out. It looks to the bad in things. So if your twin isn't there by your side or if you're in separation, which is obviously what you may be worried about, are they going to return to you? You may be feeling the pain because you're not together physically. So physically, you're feeling this pain, the emotion. You may be crying a little bit. You know, you may be in this anxiety energy where, oh, what do I do? The panic, when the panic sets in. And I know how that feels. I've been through that. Okay? You feel the panic, the anxiety, because you feel like you're out of control. You can't control it, especially if they're not responding to you. You know, if they're not responding to you, you go crazy because you think, why? What have I done wrong? Well, the angels are saying to you, you've done nothing wrong, so forgive yourself. Do not take anything personally. Breathe relax, let go and trust that this is safe, this is protected. Your divine masculine just needs to process a few things right now to return to you for love, commitment. And this is what's coming in. So don't let the ego bring it in the fear, the false experiences appearing real, cloud your judgment and push away you know, the beauty of the love. Because don't focus on what isn't there. Focus on what is there. You know, look what she's doing. She's covering it. You know, she's not covering her eyes in there. But they show me like eyes covered because you can't see clearly. But she's kind of holding her hand. You know, she's stressed out. She's focusing on the cups that have fell over. Look what's behind her. You've got a beautiful blossoming tree. You've got the blue sky. You've got the amazing greenness of the grass there. So this is showing you there's so much to be grateful for. There's so many blessings. So don't focus on what's gone or what's bad or what's hurt you. Focus on what's good and what's healed you and the beauty that's flowing in. Because it's all about understanding the truth, that you're moving into better times. That the more you understand that separation is illusion, the better you will feel. You may have to defend yourself along the way. You know, people won't get it. People won't understand family, friends, they won't understand. They'll say to you, oh, move on, get over it. But they can't understand because they'll never experience the way that you feel. Because unless you're a twin flame, you can't understand that bond that you share. So this is about you standing your ground, taking your time. And they show me this man here is very patient. So you're looking for guidance here too. You know, you're understanding things. You may feel like everything's kind of in a bog or sunk down, but you have to look for, you know, the good in things and why things are happening. Because, you know, balance is coming in. And I love this because as we're doing this in real time, this is the energy of Libra we're in now. We're in a Libra month, okay? Because it's Libra's birthday month. It's the energy. So it's showing you balance with the scales there. You know, this is a, it's like a seesaw, but it's about scales, balance, things aligning. And this is the masculine and the feminine. So the balance isn't right just yet. You have to align the energy. You have to make sure that you're giving and receiving an equal measure. So if you find that you're the one that's always giving, always reaching out, always helping, always providing some kind of support, whether that be emotionally, financially, or in energy, you have to allow your masculine to give back. They're giving me fear. 
And I know that can cause fear because, you know, you might think, well, what if I stop reaching out and they never reach out to me again? It's fear. You are divine magnets. The masculine always returns to the divine feminine. It's all in the hands of divine time. You have to learn to trust the energy. So when you're giving and not receiving, start giving back to yourself. Start giving that powerful energy back to yourself. And then you'll be open to receiving all the blessings from from the universe, from your twin flame, from everyone around you. So there's amazing things coming in. And the angels are showing you here, your divine masculine knows how, you know, powerful and strong and beautiful you are. They know that you're the treasure. They understand that, but sometimes they hide it, you know, all in their mind. Or they show me this nut there, like, um, you know, their heart that needs to be cracked open. They have to be cracked open. You know, they have to have their wounds cracked open so the light can go in. So you just have to give them time, you know, and stop reaching out. Stop being so open to them all the time. Give back to yourself. So, yes, we have to be open and loving and, you know, giving. But it's also about remembering who you are, you know, and not being walked over. So if you feel hurt because you're not receiving what you, you think you need to receive back or you're giving too much and you feel depleted, turn around and look in the mirror and give that energy to you. Your inner child is craving your love and you deserve your love more than anyone else because during this separation, and this is the card of separation, there's a reason behind it because separation heals and that's why I want to do a series on it, okay? Because in this separation, you gain knowledge and you gain wisdom and that's what the two owls are showing you there and the white owl there is signifying the purity that you purify yourself, you realise so much and the crow there is about secrets being revealed, you know, knowledge, birds are messengers, just like angels, messages of freedom, wisdom, knowledge, power, and you've got the sun there, the sun will rise again, things will be okay, you know, the swords there are about decisions and change, so there's things happening right now, and we've got temperance, so it's a journey of patience, and I've spoken about this today, you know, it's a journey of patience. We have to be patient. We have to trust. We have to focus on ourselves too and understand the well is providing water. And that's what she's doing there. She's filling up the water. So this is about you looking after you. And also make sure you're looking after yourself. You know, you're drinking enough water. You're getting enough rest. You're rejuvenating yourself. Because sometimes you can feel depleted. And it's powerful that we've got the four of swords right now. And they're showing you the fall energy there. So as we're moving into this energy of October, things are falling forward. But it's also a time of reflection, healing and rejuvenation. Healing the past. You can see there, you know, what that, that, that animal's doing is kind of looking behind, okay? It, it looks like an otter or a badger there. But it's not a badger, it's an otter, I think, or a beaver. But they show me like in Narnia. Okay, they're giving me the sign of in Narnia where Mr. Beaver was trying to get the attention of the children. You know, and he was being very quiet about it all. And he was, you know, saying, like, don't look back or, you know, be very quiet. You don't know who's listening. So you have to remember, everything is in divine timing. The masculines worry about so many things. They worry about being judged. They worry about being abandoned. And you have to trust this journey is moving forward. Those swords there are showing you decisions are being made. Changes are coming in. You know, the swords there, the three and the four there, things are moving forward. You're gaining knowledge and wisdom now. So when you look back on the past, you feel healed. You can help others. You can grow others because that's also part of your journey. So the clarifiers we've got is the five of pentacles. Your masculine does miss you, does think of you, does want you as much as you miss them. You know, look at this. You're both missing each other here. The energy of the fives, which is about change. And there's a lot of change coming in now, a lot of movement as we move into October. Your masculine has been shielded there by a toadstool. That's a fairy mushroom. You know, that's showing you they protect you from above. We've got the storm too, the lightning there. So things are shifting, you know, things are changing their understanding, but they're feeling very lonely, depressed, you know, anxious about things too. 
and they want to make something happen. You've got the bean there and the bean turns into a bean stalk. You know, it gives the way. When you, can cl you climb up the bean stalk, you, you find a whole new world up there. And yes, it may be a land of giants, but it's a whole new world. And they're giving me the song, A Whole New World there. A whole new world, okay? So this is what you're bringing in for your divine masculine. And this is what's coming in for you. A whole new world that's been built from a little bean. That's going to be turned into a beanstalk. So you're working together right now as a team to create what you want. And that's progress there. The three of pentacles, the connection with the divine... You know, the masculine, the feminine, and the, the universe, the angels. This is the trinity here. Creation. It's about your masculine, you know, thinking of you constantly. They paint a picture of you in their mind. You're always on their mind. And there's this amazing resurrection energy, you know, about releasing the past, closure, letting go, putting things to bed so that a new beginning can come in. So let's look at the cards that fell out then. These are extra clarifying cards. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles. I love this card. It's a card of intention. And this card just came out in the Pixie Power reading too. And this is the card of intention, asking for what you want and trusting that things are becoming ripe right now. You know, it's about to give birth. It's about to happen. So it's a fertile time. You know, you can see there she's looking at the fruit on the tree, but she's not quite ready to pick it off because it's not quite ripe enough. So this is why you're understanding that patience is coming in. You've got the queen of chalices. So you're stepping more and more into your power. You're understanding more and more every day about who you are, what this journey is. And you're tapping more and more into your psychic side, your intuition. Understanding that your dreams will come true. That action is ahead. That things are happening. Celebrations are coming in. And the angel is showing this to you with the six of pentacles. Another card of giving and receiving here. Another card of balance, which is what you've got there with the two of pentacles. So it's about you understanding now where you give your energy to. And that your divine masculine, remember, has got obligations and responsibilities that they are gaining the strength to overcome. So they may have children, okay? This is a card about children. You know, maybe they're making sure their kids are okay. You know, they've got everything they need financially and they are gaining the strength right now to kind of make a decision, to make a change. So they're making sure they are okay too. It's also a sign that your twin flame will be a very good father, okay? Or a very good mother. So this is also a sign of what may be in your future if you decide to have kids, if you do want a family or bring a family together. So don't cry for what you've lost, you, be, you know, bless what's coming because you can't lose your twin flame. You know, people say this to me a lot. You know, I think it's over. I think that's the end. It's never the end because you live inside of each other. And at the right time, just when you think it's all done and dusted, the tap's going to start pouring out of that water and things are going to move forward. That's why at the exact moment you're ready to give up, the universe will put signs and synchronicities in your path that blow your mind. Just to remind you that you can't ever give up. You can't forget. You can run away, but you can't run away from yourself. And your twin flame is part of you. So your masculine can run away, but they always return because they will always return to you. Because all paths come home. And the emperor is the strength that your twin is, is building. It's the strength, the power, the stability. So the whole thing here is the reason why your masculine walks away it's because their higher self knows that they need to be the emperor for you. They need to be able to take care of you, to be stable within the mind. And they are doing that work now. And you tame them with your love. So all you have to remember is everything's working out. Everything's falling into place. So you be the change that you wish to see. You step into your power with full faith and understanding that you are safe and that you are protected. And this is moving forward at the right time. And any struggles or fears that you have, give it to heaven because you are loved and safe. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.